Okay. You can hear them, buddy. The kittens. Hi, Kohler. Are we gonna miss you so much? Oh gosh, I think we are gonna miss you so much. So, <laughs> Belty's having a little breakfast snack. Kohler's getting into trouble. We had a lovely sleepover. <clears throat> and now, Almost time to say goodbye. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Oh, you guys are such good purrs. Such good purrs. Oh. <laughs> so, um, tiny suitcases. Um, I'll just go through because I packed last night, um, lovely blanket and some treats. And of course we've got a variety of blankets, very nice blankets, um, tents from Auntie Inara, um, two tents because you know they're going to just destroy one tent in like five seconds. Right? A tent for each of you. You can each have your own. <laughs> um, they're adorable ribbon kickers from Carol M that have Sphinx and their name on them. Which is so cute. <clears throat> This is cute. That's a little belty. And Ooh, a, a sky raisin, as some of you call them. And then um, some of Mama Sky's leftover toys the um, chicken whale spawn that was removed from the chicken whale. Uh, of course, we have white and gray ratty. Of course, maybe we should leave white ratty out for your carrier if there's room. Some puffs. They're uh, tiny sinks. This guy here, which is always a favorite. This little crochet guy, some ping pong balls, of course, um, a photo of Mama Sky to remember her by, this purple mousy, and this, this one, which is a lot of fun. This one has like little bite marks on it. This one makes you very ferocious. It makes you very ferocious. This guy. This one was fun. Some more little balls. Pink mousy. It's a good, it's a good suitcase full of many delights. Many delights. I kind of went through and, and harvested all of the toys that were left behind and threw them in there. So they've got a little bit of everything and all their special things. I hope that Carolyn has room <laughs> for this gigantic bag of accessories and blankets. We'll put this one in the, let's see that for the crate, I think. You are so cute. Oh, uh, the graduation certificates. Um, accidentally went home with the, I accidentally sent all four graduation certificates home with um, the Jedi kittens, so 
they have already made arrangements to um, get them to their proper homes. I did a terrible job with suitcases this round, but thankfully the adopters are sorting it out. They're sorting it all out. Um, oh, that was a good move. So uh, their graduation certificates are, will be forthcoming, but uh, they'll be going in the mail. I, I thought I had sorted everything out and then I, you know, so, oh, a taxi is pulling up. I wonder if that, if she came in a taxi. That would be fun. Oh, I feel like she's here. I feel like she's here. So she's got a plane to catch, so I don't know how uh, long that she's going to linger. That's why I want to have everything ready for her. Oh my gosh, boys. Graduation cap. Yes, thank you. I will run down and get graduation cap. I don't know what I would do without you guys. graduation caps. How can we forget that? Belfie. I don't know what I did with that. Oh. Great color. What are the odds we can do like a speed photo? I'd say slim to none. Someone is very busy stalking right now. Stalking his prey. <laughs> maybe Ka maybe Carolyn will get a photo for us. Can you sit down? Are you graduating? Oh, look at look at that stalking technique. It's very impressive. <clears throat> All right, what else did I forget? <laughs> I think uh, they will post what they're. Oh, she's here. All right, I'm going to go let her in. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Cause I, yeah, because it take like 15 minutes for yeah. you to get here. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Come and meet your boys. Yay. Okay. Just get this. Kittens. Kittens. Oh my gosh, it's oh. so exciting. So exciting. I had them on a sleepover last night and um, they had so much fun. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So the camera is right behind you, just oh, so that oops. you know where, you know, <laughs> where your butt's you. pointing. I just totally blocked it. Stuff like that. <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, very small. So, but it's, it's like here now. So you should be fine there. So yeah, I'm gonna gently lure them. I had to really, really um, make funny. sure that the Jedi kittens didn't steal them. So. <laughs> <laughs> Are they watching right now? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe they are. Um, oh my gosh. So they are so adorable. I know, aren't they? You're gonna love them. They're so they're very special and they have excellent purrs too. Excellent purrs. Um Oh my gosh. I know. So I was just going through all the suitcase things. Do you have I hope you have room for all of this? Uh, I was warned. If not, we can mail things to you. I was actually kindly warned by um, the Jedi Kittens people oh, good. that there would probably be a lot of stuff, so I actually left uh, my suitcase pretty empty. Oh, <laughs> that was very smart, very smart. And um, and we're going to get the graduation certificates sorted out and everything that I sent home with them. 
It's like, I'll take, I, you probably don't need this spider to go with you, so I'll just, oh no. Hey, come on, let's it go. It just depends on if they like it or not. <laughs> the spider oh bite. When, here, get on the Kleenex. Hey, so cute. I'm trying to help you. So they had a, a nice, fun sleepover? They did, they did. Cassidy decided that they weren't so bad after all. He's pretty picky. Oh, I know. He doesn't seem to like him. It takes, <laughs> I know. It takes him a while to warm up. But then he's like, wow, this is fun because they will actually play with me. Um, do you and your, are your others? Well, he tries to play with them by like running up and biting them in the face as hard as he can. And so they're like not super into that. But <laughs> <laughs> they do tolerate it pretty well. But for some reason, these guys, he doesn't, he doesn't do any like, he, there was no biting. There's the famous, amazing. the famous bellies. Oh, yeah, there they are. The famous bellies. So many people have sent me screenshots. Oh, to put on the page. that's excellent. Yes, they if have. They're watching. I'm sorry. I'm behind. I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I know where they are. I'm getting to them. I'm <laughs> catching up. That's. I feel like that's what I always say. Yeah, we were prepping. The, we took some time because we wanted to prep the little safe room for these guys. Oh. So they have. Uh, they have their own little. They have a whole bedroom to themselves in the meantime. Excellent. Until um, I get them fully introduced to our our other two. Yes. But uh, the other two already went into the room to check out the yeah. structures and, you know, yeah. make themselves known. They couldn't resist. <laughs> they were like, oh, look, new stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Hey. They'll, they'll enjoy then. They'll be like, whoa, whoa, we didn't bargain for this part. <laughs> Love the new stuff. They knew something was up. Yeah. They definitely knew something was up. Oh, okay. What is this extra litter box here? I know. Can we use it? It's so clean. It's so it's clean. Nice. It's got different litter in it than our litter. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Yeah, you're going to have so much fun with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is, I watched the other day and it was so great. There was so much activity. I know. And then all of a sudden it got really quiet. Yeah. And it was just the two of them passed out on the blanket. I know. They're like, wow, this was, this is intense. And then they took a little nap. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So you think you like it? So this is the yeah, stuff. Let me do the real stuff. Um, one copy for you, one for me. And then this is just their medical oh, records okay. and their, um, health certificates. So at the, they will probably ask you for these. Oh, I'm gonna do that again. Make sure I have them all. There we go. So that health certificate is probably what they'll care about most at the thing. Oh right. They don't always ask, but yeah, I usually just put it in the carrier. Yeah, and then their this is like their vaccine stuff. Okay. Um, and then are they, do, oh, that's a mask for any upcoming, and do they need any kind of boosters or something? They've had their boosters. Okay. Um, you can talk to your vet about strategy going forward, but they'll be able to see what they've had so far. Okay, great. And when they had it, and so they can tell you what, what to do next. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, like discuss deworming, flea control, diet, vaccine, stuff with your vet at the next appointment, okay. just so that you, you know. So they really think that. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna take them in probably in the next week to get get their microchips and stuff. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So that they're all, so they're totally official. They're official. Good job, get them. So that's that. And then it's got the next dates of like, you saw that I guess, re when their next revolution would be okay. due, but you're welcome to do, you know, follow your vet to this. Oh, yeah, I actually already have some of that too, ready to go. So that, oh my God, they're so cute. All right, I'm gonna do the boring stuff. First. Okay, yeah, do it. <laughs> I'll, play, I'll play with kittens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, just so many pictures came in of them. All, not all upside down. Many of them upside <laughs> down. Both of them upside down. I know they're pretty relaxed when they are napping. Pretty relaxed. No. So, what's next for you guys here? That is an excellent question. I never know what's next. We have still Maribel and Neelix. Mm -hmm. um, to find homes for, so they'll be on the cam next, and then we're gonna do it. We have a trapping day scheduled for Wednesday, so you never know what will come in with that. And then who knows? Yeah, I feel like the last time I was watching, I actually found you guys. I don't even. I was trying to remember exactly how I came across you guys, and I think for some reason I was trying to find 
there's a there's that famous video of that kitten that you rub its belly and oh yeah uh -huh. and i think i was trying to google for it or something and somehow the video of you with the sesame street kitten oh, purring on your lap came up in search excellent. and i was like where is that from <laughs> and then i just started watching uh you guys all the time oh that's awesome so i think at that point you know that video was a little bit older so i yeah. saw tip and uh, oh the Cisco. dreamworks yeah the dreamworks yep. kitten. Uh -huh. And it was kind of, you know, all of a sudden they all got adopted and we're like, oh, they're, I'm sure they're going to take a break. And then that, you can go yeah, immediately no. had this yeah. whole other flood of kittens then. Yeah, yeah. It's been a little intense. A little intense. So Cassidy has his stuff coming up, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. It's, it's a, yeah, it's tricky because I don't know how to plan it. I don't know what to, like, when it's happening. So planning is... I can't have a house full of cats here and then leave for two weeks, so it's going to be interesting. But we're working out. We're working out. Oh, they're so cute. I need to wear a little. Did they sleep at all when they stayed over last night? Yeah, they, they did. The they did. They slept <laughs> a lot, actually. And then um, this morning they were pretty wound up as you can see, but, um, so they, and now they're eating and drinking, so, <laughs> but maybe they'll take naps. Maybe they'll just nap the whole time. Yeah. I have a portable, <laughs> not portable, I mean a Tupperware with litter in it. In That's case. perfect. So that'll be <laughs> once we get going. <laughs> I'm going to keep perfect. it covered for a little bit well, until they kind of settle down. Yeah. They don't accidentally tip it. But. They probably won't use it. Yeah. But it's nice to give them the Just option. Just in case. Just make that the option. Well, I've traveled with um, my uh, my oldest cat before because he came from Florida to mm -hmm. California with me, and he held out as long as he could. Yeah. Everywhere. And we actually had a flight delay. Oh no. And the poor guy was like. Finally, had to go, and we were we were literally just waiting for the luggage, and he ended up having to go in the carousel. Oh, he was so ashamed. You could yeah. tell he just hated it. And I was oh. like, it's all right, it's all right. I'm totally prepared to clean this up. <laughs> so it happens. Yeah. Yeah, when we were traveling with Cassidy to North Carolina, it was like a long day of travel. And so I'm like, we're, we were trying to find like the, the lounge, yeah. like the, you know, whatever room we could use and then like put so the letterbox like, out yeah, and like, like put them yeah. in it. And... Yeah. Oh, look at you. You're so handsome. He's very dapper. Yeah, he is dapper. Yes, he is. What? <laughs> what? Are you going to miss me? No. <laughs> that was just short attention span right there. I know. What? Toy! <laughs> it's so shiny. I know. I know. I think that's going to And then, um... I can find... I think... I need to go to the sign of... I mean, I don't need to, but you probably want. There we go. Official, official, good, done. Excellent. Um, what was I oh, um, PayPal address. Oh, yeah. Um, you can just go to the tinykittens.com slash donate and okay. do it through there. Okay. Yeah, thank you. It was exactly as I feared. I did find yeah, yeah. my tan and they did the whole. You, you can only do this amount. Yeah, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Kittens. So much energy. I know. They've been pretty wound up for probably since like nine. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just to get them going. Well, I saw your video too of um, Buffy and Cassie playing yeah. Rocky Paws. This, the, glass. the one this morning, yeah. Yeah, so the other day when... Um, Polar was up at the camera, uh -huh. kind of readjusting it and doing a lot on it. I was trying to get a screenshot of it, so I had it on replay. And then um, Wonton, one of my cats, was up there and he starts doing the same thing back at the screen. Oh, and he's like, gotcha. they look cute. <laughs> you could have lots of wappy paws. Yeah, lots of wappy paws with trimmed claws, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Only with trimmed claws. Yes, that's good. But he's like, I have. They are trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
did they adjust okay like once everybody left or yeah left yeah they did they did fine they had they were exhausted after all the excitement and so they had a lo long naps but they're uh, it's amazing how adaptable they are like they didn't even they weren't nervous going over there they were just like cool something new to explore <laughs> and then they came back here and napped for a while and so i think they're gonna do great well they're gonna have a lot of stuff to run and jump all over I'm in, a, I'm in a townhouse, so there's a lot of stairs. Yeah, oh, <laughs> perfect, perfect. And different levels of windows. I don't think they tried the stairs at my house, so that will be a new, new exciting <laughs> thing new for them. We'll, we'll see if Belfi actually does it or just rolls over. And I know, play. I know. That's too much work. Yeah, I'm exhausted at that thought. Yes. I see Jennifer from Jedi Kittens is watching. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> she messaged me on my way here. Oh. <laughs> I know, little Farrah is so cute. With I know, I know. Like they're getting settled in. They are so cute. Hi, Jedi Kitten! <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Oh, um, <laughs> crazy! Energy. Full of beans. Uh huh. Full of beans. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Right in front of the camera, do it. I know. <laughs> take down. It'll be interesting to see if all of his floof migrates to his tail as he gets bigger or if he remains sort of puffy, uniformly puffy. He looks, he definitely has a more oh, all over fluffy look right now. I know and when he like when he tries to puff up it's like basically the same so even though he thinks he's like oh I'm super intimidating now but, yeah, not but it's, really. like, it's just kind of like he's a little arched, but it doesn't get like his tail gets a tiny bit puffier, but it's not like it's not as intimidating as he thinks it is. Well, they all think they're pretty intimidating right now. Right? Yeah, that's Kohler though. Did you see him spitting last night? He was, I think I only posted on Tiny Texies, but um, he, because I had Cassidy in his wheelchair and they were like, whoa, <laughs> what is the cat? <laughs> you know, this is the cat that hissed at me and he's got some sort of monster attached to him. So he was like, like doing the whole feral spit thing. <laughs> it was really cute. Which must just be addictive, because he's never had a time to be feral. I know, I know. He's he didn't like it. I don't think he even saw it. Sky's never done it. So I, I know Bray did it like a lot when she was little, and Trudy did it, of course. Oh right, I did remember that. <laughs> the Trudy video, the videos of the yams going into the Oh, I know. They were so funny. <laughs> It's so like the overhead cute. of like the little head peeking I know, out. the little heads and then in and out very and then they come back, I know. It's very addictive when you're having a long day. Yeah. <laughs> just checking in on the, the tiny kitten can, it's like everything just feels better. I know, it's true. You can't be upset when there are kittens. Adventuring. Doing ridiculous things. <laughs> you are very cute. Very cute. No, that's exciting. So uh, my boyfriend is keeping showering lots of attention on the other two. Oh, that's good. I feel like you're extra. You notice it more, especially when you know there's about to be a change. I was like, they've been really, they've been really needy all week. Yeah. Which I'm sure is just that you know me being a little bit like, oh, I'm just paying a little more attention yeah. to it. Yeah. But they've been very curious. But they're at the point now when I have the stream on, if they hear the them doing doing their woe. They don't even react. Oh, like at no. first, they kind of got yeah. really freaked out about the noise, and then now they're like, "Oh yeah, okay. yeah." There's like more kitten noise. Noisy kittens. <laughs> yep, they can. These these are some, these are some of the most noisy kittens that I think I've had. They were very expressive. <laughs> they were. They were. That's a good way to put it. They were they not were afraid really... to share their feels. No, they weren't. Mm -mm, no, and they had many feels. <laughs> Oh, that was a good tower. Yeah, so many people said that picture of Kohler passed out next to the sink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cute. That was pretty mm. cute. They're going to have so much fun. Uh oh, now they're checking out the carrier. I know. Are you guys ready to go? You sense the carrier? Do you sense that's yours? They probably smell their soon to be older brothers on it. Oh, get used to it. <laughs> It's suddenly a very interesting thing. Get used to it. Oh, it's easy Yeah. Got ups. Oh, what is it? Check it out. So I don't know if there's room, but this is. Oh it, yeah. This blanket yeah. is all nice and scented up, and this also also that. 
so they might all just be happy. Have that something in there. there. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, I think go see yours. it. Go check it out. You're gonna like okay. it. Oh, so nice. <laughs> oh, it's very comfy. Look, he's ready. You know, carrier means something. Don't pee in there. <laughs> At least you have extra blankets. You can swap them out of there. Extra blankets. Then I put one of those pee pads in there too, just in case. That's smart. That's smart. <laughs> um, they're little. They can't. They I know. They don't know. I was cleaning oh. up some of the some of the um, carnage of the first <laughs> tiny suitcase packing, and there were like empty boxes with garbage in them, and so co or um, Delphi climbed in one. And, like I saw he, I'm like, oh, I'll do, okay, go ahead. He's about to have a moment. <laughs> he had a moment in the box. It's, that's good though. They all set. I, I think I saw, I think I saw Luke do that too the other day. Yes, he did. And <laughs> Sarah and Leia also at the sink. I, I was going to give those toys away, but they've been anointed. With, oh. And so we need some cleanup over there. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I have to go and like, you know, put, Clean all their little toys that they left behind and put it all, put everything away. And this, 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 that's is, always the this Lego wall. I know it's, it's I mean, crazy. It's pretty. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. I yeah. can't believe how many of this you have. I know. I know. Well, it's good because we're, you know, the neighbors wonder about us because they see like during the ringworm stuff, we would come out wearing those like hazmat oh, like, suits <laughs> with like our hair covered and like you know have just bottles and empty bottles of bleach like piled up at the curb for the you know people think they're like what is going on down there and then they'd look in and see like just miscellaneous weird things <laughs> so at least the weird things can stay beyond the wall <laughs> and it looks sort of like a normal that is, room in here you can just call it the wall that's very cute of thrones i know i know <laughs> yeah. North of the wall. no at least they south <laughs> what yes. do you think, boys? Time to go? Are you going to fly? They're going to have fun. I'm going to put them in, oh yeah, take your pictures and then I will put them in the litter box and we'll see if we get lucky oh. with the pee. <laughs> Special moment. <laughs> yeah. they, go, they don't go on cue yet. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they do. Sometimes they, you know, they, but maybe, I don't know, I didn't see the, I didn't witness the last one, so they, I could check their bladders. Yeah, when they're littler, they kind of go right after they, they kind of eat and then run, yeah. run right yeah. for the box, right? Yeah. <laughs> Short little digestive tracts. It's very instantaneous. Goes right through. <laughs> Hopefully there's not any like in-flight poop. <laughs> You'll be like, well, it wasn't me, I swear. I'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> I swear, let's see. Do you see? Is your bladder, is your bladder need to be empty? Or is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think you have a little mini. We're going to try oh. this little box right here. Hi. They're pretty. <laughs> they're so small. Do they look smaller than on the camera? Yeah, or but they're the kind of. I think it's just more that they're smaller compared to obviously yeah. the adult cats, which is what you're used to holding. Mm -hmm. But um, and mine haven't been kittens for quite a while. But they actually, when I saw them on camera, I was looking at them versus Sky, and she's, you know, and I was like, well, she, I think you said that she's probably around 10 pounds. Yeah, which yeah. Which is around the size of one of mine, and they looked pretty tall next to her. I mean, they've grown so much. They have grown a lot in the last couple of weeks. Like, fair as a cast, or her splint, like, was up here, and, like, four days later, it was, like, down here. Because she grew, she got so much taller. Yeah, they look like they're going through their skirt. Like, he, you know, Belfie's definitely not as round as he was before he's got some legs he does he oh, still he still hasn't jumped as, as high as no he's not as aerodynamic <laughs> at all he tries it was actually really funny to watch that because petra would always and elvis yeah. would just be leaving and then he would like float kids. over the wall like yeah. gazelles and then you sort of see you know belfie in a few years just staring at him like you know well. and then occasionally they try and they embarrass themselves a little bit that's okay. Then they just go lick themselves off camera and bring mm -hmm. themselves to restore their dignity and they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good boy. Oh. Cooler's gonna pee. Yeah. 
that's a good boy. I don't think it's a good boy. Say that. <laughs> maybe, maybe Delphi will join him. He's going in. Sometimes, sometimes it's only acceptable if you go with a friend. I think he just went in. He's in. <laughs> Nobody move. <laughs> Kohler's like digging by his butt. <laughs> it might turn into just wrestling. <laughs> good job, Kohler. What a good boy. Delphi too. I was just going for it. Yay. Okay, what good boy. <laughs> what good boys. That's well, good. At least we'll have empty bladders. Yep. Oh, I tried to maybe get... we're po- I think he's pooping. Oh, he is. Looks like poop position. He's going for it. All right, so maybe you have one bladder and one. <laughs> we just had it by 50. It'd be a very exciting flight. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll do both. Yeah, I'll have the little, I'll see if I can find a place to take a quick break with them and put the litter box in in case they want it Yeah. before the flight starts. And thank you for that tip about the, um, the airport privacy. Oh, I yeah. I thought about that, but I was getting there. I'm like, ah, trying to carry them both through yeah. security. Yeah, two, like, I know. And there's, yeah, yeah, they're at the scanty stage. And it's a huge, at YVR, it's like a huge it's room. Open. Where, like, if they got out, oh, they'd no. be any, they would be like, and it's so busy, it's super busy there. Yeah. So. I don't know, I'm like, this is a former feral cat, and you want me to carry it through? Yeah, no, no obviously no. not. Well, because did you travel with? Uh, tip? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you brought Tip and... Tip and Bootsy. Bootsy. Tip actually started to unzip when we were taking off. She un- had was unzipping the top <laughs> of the carrier and like her head was out and I was like, oh. So I'm like trying to keep her in. <laughs> she, it was a close call. Once they want out, they can get out. Yeah. That's, no, she was not into it. That's where um, one of their... One of their soon be brothers, Bant, he can open doors. Oh. He, just, he knows how to open doors, drawers, like yeah. um, cabinets. Like, oh, he's gosh. figured out even if there's no handles on them, he'll bounce it. Oh. He'll sit there and bounce it with his paw. That's smart. So he can get a crack enough to grab the edge of it. Wow. And then we saw one time he couldn't get it to bounce open, and so he the knobs were at the very top edge, and then I saw him jump up on the kitchen cabinet and reach a paw down and pull it open with his paw. Oh, my gosh. Because he just, that was his clubhouse. That I was wonder if he'll teach cabinet. these people how to... <laughs> How to do it? How to do it? Maybe, um, but our other one Wonton didn't do it. He's 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 very content to just live with his boundaries. But the <laughs> is kind of like, no, I just I have ideas. I need to execute on my ideas. You know, I want in. He gets very determined, and yeah. they just can't get him away from it once he decides he wants into that room. Yeah, yeah. He's he will try it. all things possible. Yeah, and I've done stuff where. So the room they're in, um, I actually have to put a chair against the door oh. because he will he will open it. And yeah. There's no lock on it, but if, even on uh, my bedroom, like one time I had to try to try to lock it, and um, I was getting a house painted. I didn't know he could open it. Oh. And I came back, and um, you know the painters were like, "Oh, your cat was down here." I'm like, "What do you mean? <laughs> I had them in the bedroom." <laughs> you know, while I was just sitting in the bedroom, like I'm not yeah. going down. There were strange people. Like, I was and, good. The apple just rolling around with all, he's like, oh, cool, furniture covered in plastic, <laughs> technically. Oh, yeah. And he's just walking through all the painting stuff. <laughs> so he had figured out, that's how I, I, my first, my first clue, that he had figured out a way out. It's trouble. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm sure he will find a way to go meet these guys probably yeah, sooner yeah. than that is in the air. Yeah. Well, they, I think they'll be excited to have someone else to play with. Yeah, he'll teach them skills. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. We'll see who who is more uh, who's into it. <laughs> Am I <to> the wrong shit? <laughs> He's like, oh wait. <laughs> so there's um, but their their neuters all went fine. And yes, right yeah, yeah. So everything there's yeah. These guys did great. Nothing to worry about. Belfie's was a while ago and. 
the 21st and then Kohler's was I guess Wednesday so we've had plenty of time to recover everything was looking good <laughs> they had good breakfast they should be hydrated for their flight okay well I have a little bit of dry kibble on me and then also a little water and there's, some, okay. there's some kibble in here also oh, just in case they in case you need it and then you can trans use that to transition them to whatever Whatever you really yeah. want to feed them. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh. It's going to be a really fun weekend. I know. It is going to be so much fun. What time do you think you're going to make it home tonight? I think the flight lands around 5.30. Yeah. Um, and I'm fairly close to there, so hopefully no later than 6. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And then, um, yeah, and I can give them a little snack and some water in the meantime if they're yeah. They're seeming like they need it. Some, some good brotherly wrestling here. I know. But yeah, there should be enough time to get them <laughs> settled into the room. It's all it's all set up for them. Oh, good. Like I said, everything's been, you know, a few, the scratchers have just gotten a few, you know. Yeah, new test run. Just test run marks. <laughs> That's good. Things like that. That's good. And, uh, you know, a few, you know, there's there's some, some cool little new fluffy beds in there for them to try out. Oh, they will love it. They will right. love it. <laughs> they don't even notice. I know. They don't really need toys. They just need each other. Brothers make the best toys. And Kohler's got the cutest little paw pad. I know. Aren't they so special? And his nose is also very special. Yes. They both have that little stripe. Uh huh. Down on a little one bit side. of one side yeah. of the nose. Yeah. <laughs> and the little white feet. I know, so cute. And I saw Sky's photos. I you. know, she's doing so well. It's so nice. To, that's like, you know, you hardly dare hope that you can. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they showed you with that. They color. sure did. <laughs> that was a firm grip. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Oh boy. Is it going to switch back to the uh, Marilix can? Yeah. This? Yep. So it will be Marilix, and then we've been doing some reruns on the VIP cam, which is adorable. And I don't know, we'll see We'll see how things go and figure out what's happening next. We're, oh, we're doing a big um, birthday party for Cassidy. Um, it's, he's turning a year old on Monday, so uh, we'll do a little special broadcast. Year. I know, can you believe it? July 4th. It was like, like, wow. I know. I saw the, I was watching that when you guys first brought him in. Oh, I yeah. Thought, that was crazy. Yeah, seeing those first couple days with him. I know. Just so, you know, you had him in that little fish bed. Yeah. Yeah. I had no idea what, what would be involved in keeping him alive. Oh, he seems like he's thriving right he's now. He's super, yeah, he's super happy. <laughs> he's very happy. With many, many taxis and occasionally some visiting I know. To some think intruders. About. <laughs> intruders. Even though he feels betrayed. I know. Come over. I know. What are these? Hopefully he, he's probably inspecting the house to make sure that they're really gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, did they leave any sense anywhere? I know. <laughs> Is this their toy? Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> Got his territory. Yeah. Which is you. So. I know. He, yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> he doesn't share very well. He doesn't. Let's see how we are in time. Oh, good. So you is your do you need to call your taxi? Um, yeah, I can either I think he said he'd just come back right at ten thirty. Okay, perfect. So I can probably you know, I should just pack the yeah. The other bag and then let them play as long as they want. Yeah. That's a good idea. I never, you never know about the, tr the lineup at the airport. It's sometimes a little tricky. And sometimes I found the, um, when you're checking in, they don't really know what, what to do with pets. Yeah. I've and had that happen before. I've missed flights before. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah. Where they, <laughs> and you have to like, 
then they have to call their manager and you have to, but the manager is like busy and then you have to wait 10 minutes and they're yeah. like and they like the other person's on the lunch break because i know you have to do the inside check-in yeah yeah so hopefully it's so cute i know i try well, I tried to get a photo, but I failed, so maybe you'll be able to get one. <laughs> he was like, He's like, oh, toy, toy. That's for wearing. <laughs> I will try to get photos of them in there. I will preserve these. I'll prevent these from becoming toys. Yeah, <laughs> they're pretty cute. They're pretty cute. They're super cute. Thank you, guys. This is incredible. I, people Just, love them so much, I know. <laughs> It's pretty. It's special. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Thank you guys so much. Like this is crazy. Show me the bag and tiny suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna love this stuff. They are. They are. I'm trying to figure out how to get it all in here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's it's the. Short. That's the part. You might want to leave one blanket out to cover the thing with, because they, in case they get scared looking out. Oh, I have that. Oh, now. perfect. I think. Oh, nice. nice. Oh yeah, I see. That's cool. That should be perfect. It's very travel friendly. Okay. Always gonna be the road. <laughs> I think there's no liquid in there. I would have given you a can of food, but I don't think you can get it on. Right here, I'll just check this one. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then, um, oh, that me. Um, well, they emotionally, <laughs> uh, no, uh, they haven't been too, too bad with the doors, but, um, they haven't had a lot, it's been mostly the Lego walls. Wow. So. They haven't experienced too many doors. Yeah, yet. no, so, uh, but they're definitely, um, they definitely like to be with the people, so <laughs> they will probably follow you around. And that's awesome. That's how our, ours are, whatever room the people are in. Yeah. Where they want to be. That's that's probably what will happen. And they like to observe the working. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll probably want to help help with any of that talk a lot. Yeah, when I'm on the computer mm -hmm. doing photo editing or when I get them working hard. So yeah. Give them set boxes that are nearby. Oh, that's good. So they can be observant. Part of it. Yes, they like being part of it. <laughs> oh, yes. down the sides and in the front if they're yeah they they get a little freaked out mm -hmm. when they're there and there's people <laughs> too many times. They're pretty confident, but they'll probably be nervous. Well, they seem very confident. Woo. They seem to like the people. They do seem to like the people. Well, we'll build some climbing for them too. They will like that. They haven't had too much access to tall all cat trees except at field trips at my house. Do you have something sexy? No. <laughs> no. Oh, big job. Yeah. <laughs> You're very handsome. What about if you're checking the... Oh yeah, they do have that. That's a reasonable. Yeah. 
that goes really incredible. I know, they're pretty good. It's been nice to be able to make different size. <laughs> I just need a gate. I need some sort of like gate or door because otherwise we have to like unbuild them. Oh, to get through. And it's hard. They're pretty hard to get apart. <laughs> what? Or climb over. Yeah, or climb over. And then... <laughs> He's like, this is a Tabata. I know. Hair. <laughs> He's ready. Ready to go. Color, it already smells like you. It smells like everybody. You guys all took naps together. Yep. That was really cute. And then we'll stick together. <laughs> I know. I know. Really nice. You can, do you want to take this? You can take, I mean, it's already, you can fold it. <laughs> It'll fit right in the luggage that way. <laughs> sure. It's It'll only the nicest toys for them. You know, they kind of, sometimes you buy like these super nice things and they sort of look at it and then they're like, can I have the bottle cap back? Yeah, I know. Or the milk ring. Yeah, the milk ring and bottle cap seem to be the perennial favorite. Yeah. So it's yeah. not usually what you think they'll like or what are you? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yes, this bottle cap is great hockey puck. Yeah, or a tiny, Cassie loves like a tiny leaf fragment, like that comes in the door. Just like a little <laughs> a tiny, little dry leaf. yeah, just like, just a tiny, he can pick it up and drop it and pick it up and drop it. Very exciting. <laughs> it's very exciting. Well, Vance likes to carry uh, his mouse toy and uh, there's this little fleece blanket he carries up and down. Oh, stairs. that's so cute. So he waits to check if we're upstairs for the night or if we're or if on the weekends if we're going downstairs. And then he'll run down with you, look at you. Yeah. He's like, okay, you're here. And then he'll go back down and get it or back <laughs> up and get it. And then he'll sing the song of his people. Oh, while, while he's carrying it. it. Oh, that's Which so is, cute. I don't know how they can do that though because he's clearly got something in his mouth. Uh huh. Yeah. And he's singing really loud the whole time. <laughs> he's very proud of himself. He is. He's like, please notice. I need you to pay attention to this. <laughs> and he just drops it next to you. And he's like, oh, mm -hmm. like special gift. It is. This is a special gift. That is so nice. Those toys have a lot of his drool on it. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> have a very quiet room all of a sudden. I know. It's going to be quiet, except for the sounds of cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> the sounds are coming. Oh, they look like they're just checking out the window view. So that's the one thing I have to set up. That room has um, the way the headboard is set up. It's right up at the window, so and it's a wide. Oh, it's a uh -huh. wide headboard. So at their size, they can just they will love it. Lay on it. They will love that. So I just probably need to set up something that will allow them to climb up there. Yeah. I think that will be perfect. At least until they can leave. Yeah. So you can work on your ups like your cousin. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's a cave. It's like a tent. Yeah. It's just like your tent. But you're not going <laughs> to pee in it yet. Not yet. Not yet. You can pee in it later. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll try Belfie and get another litter box and see if we can get a pee. Can we get a pee? That's he definitely went for the number two. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> Let's see. Good job. <laughs> hey, Kohler. Do you want to go say hi to everybody? Take your feather for you. 
You can supervise. (laughs) 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 Belfie just packed himself. Did he do it? He's, no, he didn't um, pee. But he packed himself in oh, the packed himself in the carrier. He's cool, are you gonna go pack yourself? <laughs> now they're gonna unpack himself. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. It's a multi-level playroom. Mm-hmm. So much fun. <laughs> There's your taxi. Boys, look, there's your ride. Perfect there's time. your ride. <laughs> They're like, but we found somewhere else to play now. There's a little hidey hole back here. <laughs> it's so exciting. It's so exciting. You're going to have so much fun. Oh, that a good boy. Are you going to be a good boy sometimes? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Mirror, 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 Wow, that was high speed. He's like, no. That's high speed. He's like, I'm not sure about, oh, hands. Hands are toys, too. <laughs> <laughs> Only sometimes. <laughs> Only gently. <laughs> He's almost in. He's almost in. <laughs> Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> okay. Have fun. We'll have fun in there. Everyone can see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his feet going. <laughs> feet are pretty good toys too. They are. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that they get to go to such a great home. And thank you for everything that you do. And, you know, thanks for picking us. Like, we're so excited. Well, this is going to be the moving bag now. I know. (laughs) It's going to move itself. We'll do our best to keep everybody updated, too. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah, thank you for doing the Facebook thing. Yeah, it makes it easier on all of us. Oh, I know. I think (laughs) I, I felt the same way when I watched the other... The other letters go. Yeah. I'm like, like, where are they? I know. I know. I mean, I know they're in great, wonderful places, but where are they? I know. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yeah. Do they want to see one last book? I don't know if they can see in there or not. Okay. Bye, boys. Way bye to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> bye, boys. Be good sometimes. Be good sometimes. Occasionally. Have fun. <laughs> Big adventure. I know. Do you help carrying something? Yeah. I'm impressed you got it all in there. All of the different. <laughs> I really didn't need much since I was only really just like sleeping at the hotel right. for barely for right. a couple of hours. But yeah, this will it down. So thank Bye. you. Bye. Safe travels. Um, call or email if you need anything I at all. Or any questions. Thank you. Guys thank you. Thank Bye. You. Well, and so ends another, another successful, I don't know what to call it, kitten thing. So, um, yeah, so that's it. We're done. All, all 11 kittens and sky getting their fairy tale endings that's so great four litters four litters of feral kittens that are not out in the forest right now that are alive and they're gonna have awesome lives and one of the moms in an amazing home and a second mom we're hoping to get into an amazing home so if we get Neelix adopted, that will be 50% of our feral mamas that we've brought in that have been adopted, which I think is pretty amazing. 
Um, so thank you guys for all of your support and your um, encouragement and sharing posts and donating. Um, it's been quite a roller coaster with this litter, with this batch from like it was back in February. It's been a long, it, it was back in February when um, Sabina came in. She was our first one that we weren't even trying to get. And then Neelix and then Sable and then Sky. But doing like the first ultrasound on feral cats and um, being so worried about Savina because she was so panicky and terrified and then ha watching her go from so terrified to making biscuits in her nest every night um, and being such a good mom and Neelix's interrupted labor and of course Cindy Lou Mew um, it's been there's just been so much that's happened. It's hard to remember all of the all of the like what a roller coaster it's been because it's been so crazy lately. But it's been crazy since they came in. So and then of course everything with Sky and the kittens. So yes, you're right. It was actually 14, 14 kittens, including the yams. Yeah, fourteen kittens and uh, Cindy Lou. So, um, yeah, it's just been a, a, quite an adventure. I've learned a lot from this group, so I think every time, every time we bring some in, um, I learn something, and then the next group, it's a little bit different, and so I think that, but, but 100% success so far, like none of the moms have rejected their babies, none of them too stressed to care for the babies. None have harmed the babies. These are some of the risks that we worry about. I haven't been bitten or attacked. Um, not for lack of trying in some cases, but um, no, I mean, it's, so it's been, I think, quite successful so far and um, quite worth the effort because um, I think with the new nest, the new nest prototypes and the bin of safety like I did with Sky, I think we're I think things are going to be, um, keep getting easier and, and hopefully that's good news for ferals everywhere. Um, so what's next is Marivel and Neelix, we have to find them a home. So uh, even though the kittens are gone, we still have two cats down there to take care of and to get um, socialized and Mar Maribel's still on meds, so we were going to do some more um, vet appointments with him, and um, so um, hopefully we can find them a great home together. So you know, any anyone you know who has a soft spot for feral cats and the amazing rewards of of a feral cat um, learning to trust you, and then you know, becoming your best friend, that those would be wonderful people to send our way. And they will be on the camera until something else comes along. And then um, we're currently doing reruns on the VIP cam. So, but we'll see, we'll have VIP do a vote on what they want to watch. Um, Cassidy's birthday is on Monday. He's a year old. Um, it's amazing that he, uh, is alive and very happy and very healthy so um, I will be doing a special broadcast on Monday I haven't figured it out yet but I will figure it out and post details on Facebook and then we'll do a special VIP broadcast also um, for his birthday so um, if you haven't signed up for the new VIP it, go to vip.tinykittens.com because uh, the old VIP will be going away very soon. So, um, probably before Monday, before the birthday parties. So, I'm hoping to get it done over the weekend. So, if you have not signed up for new VIP, um, there are instructions on how to cancel old VIP and then sign up for the new one. So, uh, go to vip.tinykittens.com. It's a great way to support us and um, 
There's a, a smaller, more intimate chat that is always troll-free, and um, you get to see special bonus stuff. Like yesterday, um, I broadcast the um, Belfie and Kohler and the teens and Cassidy from my house. Um, since there wasn't much going on over here. So I try to do little fun field trips and stuff. Um, and then when that's not happening, there's usually either a different camera angle of like, if it's just one litter, we'll do a different camera angle. So um, thank you to those who are already on VIP. I'm working on a PayPal option. So if you want, if you can only use PayPal to sign up, um, send an email to meow at tinykittens.com and make sure that you're on the list and I'll notify you when we have PayPal as an option. Um, so, um, I think that's about it. Um, <laughs> I know I do have, I do have a rare opportunity to, to, uh, I can actually turn my phone off, maybe, because Maribel and Neelix hopefully won't be having any um, any emergencies <laughs> when there are kittens. Um, when there are kittens around, you know, it's twenty four seven. Something something could happen, so I have to always have my phone and be on alert, and things always happen at the worst possible times. So. Uh, I will I will post the goodbye video um, as soon as I I'll, as soon as I reset over to the Maribel Neelix cam I will post this one so I'll just refresh the page and you'll see it before you'll see it underneath the live video um, yeah so hopefully hopefully Starling uh, I did see Starling this week and um, Macy also. Um, Starling looks like she's really nursing some kittens right now, so, um, uh, it's too early to try to trap her, but, um, we'll try to time that, right? We are going to do, uh, Wednesday is, is trapping day, so we're going to do some, um, spaying and neutering, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, so, um, it gets hard to do trapping and have you know sick cats and kittens and do neuters and spays of kittens and adoption week and all that stuff at the same time but now now there's a little break so we can we're gonna get um there are a few stragglers that have shown up at the feeding station so we're gonna do a couple of trapping days and get that all done so we can actually wrap wrap up that colony and try to move on to another one um and by move on uh i mean we um, we have the neighbors involved, involved, so we're going to start getting them into the feeding rotation so the cats will continue to be fed and cared for and um, it will just be the people in that community taking care of their cats. Um, for the most part, we'll still leave a volunteer there or two to check in on things um, probably on a weekly basis to make sure everything's going okay. But um, the idea is to transition ownership to the local neighborhood so that we can move on and start helping more cats um, that need us and then and continue taking care of the ones that we've sort of taken responsibility for this colony so we're going to continue to provide care for them so if one of the neighbors sees one that's sick or injured we'll go in and, and trap and, and try to help them. Um, we will have to do maintenance trapping over there just because new cats will come in all the time so um, you know, it's not like we'll be saying goodbye, but, um, it is time to wrap it up and, um, move on to the next group. So that will be happening at some point soon. Um, we've had some really great, um, um, response from the neighbors. Several of the neighbors down there have been also feeding the cats which is great. So they each have like a, a little subset that goes to their houses and eats there too. So, um, which is really nice. So, uh, we've got several people who are excited to help take care of the cats and even some of the kids in the neighborhood are excited about it. So I think that's awesome. And, um, that is what we, that's, you can, you can tell from, if you remember Tiberius, the cat with a jar stuck on his head for three days. Um, Several of the neighbors were 
very concerned and health search and all that stuff. So not all the neighbors, some of the neighbors, you know, think the cats are a nuisance and all that stuff, but we do have some good ones there. So um, that's kind of the, that's kind of what, what the idea is to, we go in and get them started and do the bulk of the work and then transition ownership to them and, and they take it from there. So we'll be providing food for them and um, so that they don't have to be buying food, but, um, but they will be doing the actual work, um, most of it. So um, that's awesome, Gen B. Gen B is TNRing a feral mom and kittens. Yeah, so we will we will leave. Um, we'll have a couple of volunteers who um, are in the rotation over there until we know that everybody's you know showing up when they're supposed to and everything's going smoothly. So we're not going to just pull the plug and leave. Um, so, because we, we obviously love the cats there, so we're not going to just leave them um, and not know what happens to them. We'll be there checking up on them frequently and, and all that. So, Kinsey's, is Kinsey's here? Yeah, Kinsey's, I know, Kinsey's is, Kinsey's is like, I can't say goodbye to them. Yeah, so Kinsey's will still be going there. Um, oh, yeah, excellent. Linda O oh, did her first TNR yesterday. That's very exciting. I love to I love to hear about people who are doing, uh, who are starting to do TNR. That's so awesome. Um, you guys are the best. Um, yeah, so, so, um, we, we definitely got more involved with this colony than I had entered. Like, I didn't know how, I didn't know the, how, how the ferals would be, like everything you read online, you get a certain impression of feral cats that, you know, they're kind of like wild animals and there's no interaction and you just get in, you're efficient, you get it done, you get out. And that has not been our experience at all. And so um, it's been really cool to see that, but it's also, it's also makes it tough when it's time to help some more cats. So we're trying to find the balance, that balance where we can still stay involved and also help more cats. But um, anyway, <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and for advocating for cats and feral cats and spaying and neutering and all that stuff. Um, there's really only one way to solve cat overpopulation and it's to get people to value cats more. And so we're trying to show that these feral cats who are invisible and misunderstood and not cared for um, very well, we're trying to show that they have value and they're worth saving and um, hopefully that message will continue to spread and as people start to value them more, they'll start to care for them um, and they'll start to spay and neuter their own cats more. And that's how we're gonna solve cat overpopulation. So go team. And um, <laughs> I know no cats, it's very awkward. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so I'm gonna switch you guys over to the uh, Marilix cam. I'm not sure what's going on over there right now. Um, and I will, I know, I need to spend, I need to get the case studies updated. I need to spend some time doing all the case, getting the case studies updated because uh, we've learned a lot with this round. Um, so I will switch over to Marilix and uh, if you refresh once once the new feed comes up, um, the, the, this will be down, the, I will post this video so you can watch it if you missed it. So thank you guys, thank you Tiny Village, you guys are the best and you make all of this possible so, um, so thank you for that. I think we're together we're doing something really important and we are going to change the world and I think we're already starting to. So, um, uh, I think that's pretty amazing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So stand by.